Welcome back, Achievement Hunters. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the follow button. Last time on The Walking Dead. Since I can remember, Clem's always been there with me. She taught me to be careful, to be quiet, to be strong, to always aim for the head, to kill people that try and hurt us. To make the bad people suffer. I always listen to Clem. Always. But I've been thinking more. I don't know if she's right every time. She told me way back to shoot her if she got bit. That doesn't feel right. We're doing a lot of bad things. To save our friends. To protect our home. And when Clem told me to shoot Lily, I got mad. So mad. I don't... I don't know what I feel anymore. I don't know if Clem knows either. But I remember all the rules. And the first one is never go alone. isn't going to stay afloat much longer. There! We can climb down from there. Well, we have to get there first. Okay, we've got to jump. It's far. I know it's far, but it's the only way. You'll have to go first. You'll need a running start. I don't know, Clem. We don't have time to hesitate. We need to jump, now! AJ, what do we do when we're scared? Fuck off, fear. Attaboy. Get to the pier! I'll meet you there! 
I'm not going to leave you. There's nothing you can do. I'll find a way there. Now go!
here by your tongue. <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. Get the fuck off of me! Are you okay? Yeah. My ass is a little singed, but I'm good. Fuck. I can't believe that works. Lou. What happened to Minnie? I don't know. I lost track after the explosion. Clem! Thank God. You guys made it. Fuck. There's more walkers than I can count. The explosion drew them right to us. Stay cool. We knew this would happen. We just have to get off this beach. Look! I've got the cart around. Ruby! Willie! Come on! We're getting out of here! No end to these little shits! Put them down! Oh, shit! Clap, do something! She's gonna get herself killed. Oh my god. We've got a break for it. Now! Everyone run for the cart. I'll stay back and cover you. I'll be right behind you. The second I see an opening, I'll make a break for it. See you on the other side. Damn right. AJ, go with him. No, I'm staying with you. Thanks, kiddo.
We have to move. We'll have to squeeze through there. We don't know where it goes. Well, we do know there's walkers in the other direction. But... Move it, dummy! I saw his eyes when he did it. I saw the bloodlust in them. What are you talking about? Nothing. Go. safe, but not for long. Damn it. It's so dark in here. We can't move forward without a way to see. I'll figure something out. Damn it. It's all too wet to burn. Okay. Some way to start a fire. Hmm. Perfect. Flint. Something to burn. It might look nice in our room. Just have to get home first. The water's moving fast. It's too dark to tell how far it even goes. see Minnie out there? I didn't see her anywhere. I saw her on the beach. She was bitten, Ten. So, she'll go to the next place with Sophie. They can be together. That's good. It's so dark in here. I'm working on it. It doesn't feel safe. There's too much danger outside. I wish I had a gun. We'll be out of here soon. Hmm. All right. Hey, good. Look, there's another tunnel over there. It's too far. Well, we just gotta... We gotta find something to help us cross. The walkers are getting closer. Don't worry. We'll be home before you know it. Mm, rocks are too small to walk across. But they might stop something flowing down river. If I ain't that out of there, 
It would drift down the river and get caught in the rocks. Could work as a bridge. Okay, we just need to go across one by one, and then we'll move the rocks out of the way. And then I'll take... Which way do we go? Ten, do you see a light down any of these tunnels? You brought this on yourself. Oh! Clem! But it's not too late. Let go! For him, at least. <laughs> Follow us and I sprain your ankle. Follow us after that, I break your leg. I won't let you take him. I won't let you make him a monster. Not any further. Clem! If you want to live, let him go. Don't test me. Violence again. Unsurprising. Ha! I'll kill you before I leave her. Ha! You did this. You made him this way. You had him empty an entire clip into that woman's head! It was only half a clip. Is this what you wanted? A boy who only sees an answer at the end of a barrel! Take this guilt trip of yours and shove it up your ass! Oh, ouch. I liked it. I liked killing her. It made me feel strong. I don't care if it was murder. I don't care if it was anything. It felt good. Best feeling I've had in a long time. Maybe ever.
Why are you looking at me that way? AJ, listen to me. The things Clementine has been telling you. She's wrong. What you're becoming is wrong. Why are you even letting them talk about me like that? Neither of you are listening. Anyone that wants to hurt us should be dead. And I'm not sorry about it, and I'm not going to feel bad about it. AJ. You know you told me to be like this. You always said surviving was the most important thing. Be strong. Be brave. If something wants to hurt us, shoot it right in the head. Killing Lily made us safe. There's nothing wrong with liking that. I can't listen to this. You think you can change him? Do it then. Talk to him. I'm not gonna stop, Clem. I I'm not gonna let people that wanna hurt us just... walk around. You can't tell me to stop and expect me to get it. You can't tell me to stop when you know it just confuses me. I know this world is hard. For us, for you especially. And killing, it's almost unavoidable these days. Having to do it, having to let you do it, we've learned we have to live with it. But you can't ever like it. I don't know if I should have said I liked it. Maybe I don't know the right words for what I felt. Aren't you glad Lily's dead? You wanted me to kill her. Aren't you glad I did? It's... it's complicated. Because? Because. Because why? You know I am, AJ. Lily was a monster. And we kill monsters. But the point is, we can be glad they're gone, but not enjoy the act of removing them. So, we can do good things, but not be happy about it? You weren't happy firing that gun. You were angry. Angrier than I've ever seen. I need you to hear me, AJ. You can't talk like this about killing anyone. Even Lily. Enough. It's obvious you can't teach him. Get the fuck away from him. I'm not listening. <laughs> just don't understand who we are. I understand you. I've seen your kind. The world is full of you. I've been you. All you know is violence. Death. He could live a peaceful life, but... But it's like you won't let him! It might seem hard to believe, AJ. I know it does, but listen to me. No one has to die anymore. Not humans. Not walkers! James, this philosophy of yours? This philosophy is what has kept me human! It's what will keep any of us human! It's like you read it out of a book of fairy tales, I swear to God! Where everyone could live in harmony if we all just wished hard enough! Open your eyes, James. The world isn't as simple as you like to make it sound! So what is it, then? It may not be kill or be killed, but it's awful goddamn close. <laughs> I'll 
find my own way. Next time you need help, ask someone else. Clem? What is it? He doesn't get it. Not like we do. Not like I do. Let me help you, Clem. Trust me to tell which people are bad. That I won't ever use my gun because I like it. But only to keep our friends safe. Please. You can trust me to decide when it's right. Okay. Really? You're growing up too fast, AJ, and that... that scares me. But you've seen things and done things no one your age should have to do. <laughs> you've earned my trust. If you say you won't ever enjoy killing, I believe you. I won't. I promise. that? Yeah, that's the way out. He left his mask behind. The coast is clear. If the shore is that way, then the school is probably that way. A sim was the third. Huh? The day after AJ killed Marlon, you already know Violet and I voted for you to stay. A sim was the third vote. Wait, that means Omar voted us out? And Ruby? Uh, yeah. Huh. What made you think of that? A sim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you. But his reason, it was better. I just, I just thought you should know. The sim was right. We were safer. We were more scared than we let on when you met us. That's really nice of you to say, Ten. Thank you. That's okay. Now that we're out of danger and going back home, it just made me think of it. I like a sim. If Marlon was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead, we fought back, because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlon, even in his safe zone. We were just... hiding. Huh? Huh? Violet! 
You made it. You're all alive. Did everyone else escape? Yeah, they're okay. They took the cart and headed back to the school. We're safe, Clem. All we gotta do now is find our way home. Any idea which way that is? I know an old bridge near here. If we cross it, we won't be too far from the school. Well, we were looking for you guys, and I... I thought you might be... gone for good. Oh. Shit. I was trying to figure out what I'd do if you were gone. And I realized how goddamn stupid I was about Minnie. For a whole fucking year. I was so wrapped up in losing her and Sophie, I pushed away everyone who tried to care about me. Marlon, Brody, Lewis, even you and AJ, I, I, I tried my damnedest not to care about either of you. Because you were afraid of losing someone else. It's understandable. I was a goddamn coward. I'm not a coward anymore. Jesus. Everything's so different now. Me, us, the school. I remember how Marlon described it, and what we were gonna turn Erickson into. It's not the way any of us pictured it. How did you picture it? I guess I couldn't. I just listened to what Marlon said, how it would be a home. A real one, but I couldn't really wrap my head around it. My family lived in a trailer. Mm, what about you? Where'd you live? I lived in a house with my mom and dad. Fence around it, big backyard. What was your favorite part of the house? treehouse in the backyard. I used to take my walkie-talkie up there and play for hours. I'd pretend it was a ship and I was the pirate captain, or it was an igloo and I was a hunter, <laughs> or a castle and I was a princess. Really? Like with frilly dresses and a tiara? Yeah, but also a sword. A warrior princess. Yeah, obviously. And the treehouse kept me alive when all this started. That's where I hid. <sighs> you know, Erickson can still be the home Marlin promised. As soon as we get back, we'll start rebuilding. Hmm. <sighs> It'll be a lot of work, but you're right. It is worth it. Hell, we could even put in a treehouse. Yeah, we could put it in one of those trees with the big rock traps. Then you could drop a rock on anybody who wanders by. Way better than a hammer. What? Nothing. Never mind. After all that's happened, it's still hard to imagine. I mean, we fought for it. Defended it. It should feel more like home than ever, but it doesn't. You know what the problem is? That stupid fucking name, Erickson. You want to rename it? <laughs> yeah. Fuck that guy. We should name it something cool. Threatening, but not like scary. What about the rotting shithole? 
<laughs> it's accurate and uh, <laughs> kind of cool, like a rock band. I'm in. I want to help rebuild our school. You will, Ten. We all will. We can start as soon as we get back. And let's get home to the rotting shithole. Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward. It's far. Really far. Should be able to jump it. It's not that far. Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard. going someplace better. I want you there with me. Where everyone gets to be a person again? We're gonna go be with Mom and Dad and Sophie. Together. Ten, look at me. I know that looks like her, but your sister is gone. I'm... She can try to stop me, but I am not going anywhere without you. The night will be over soon.
dead if he hadn't taken that shot. You think that's okay? Just gunning down one of our own. I didn't want to shoot him. He was my first real friend. But he was messing up again, just like when he got Mitch killed. So I had to decide. Glimpse that I could, so I did. Goodbye, Tom. <laughs> Trap us. I know. I'll climb first and I'll catch you on the way down. Come on. Bye. Shit. I got it. Clem, look out. Oh, fuck. Run. Meet us back at the school. But uh, we'll make it. Go.
I got you! Go! I'm right behind you! Bit. Come on, we can't stay here. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving. Keep moving forward. I love you. Don't ever forget that. I love you too, Clem. Keep moving forward. James is born. It's empty now. We'll be safe in there.
Jay, run! I'm right behind you. Cover me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Rachel. You did it. Now what? You need to find a way out of here. We can climb up there. The monsters can't reach us up there. Let's go. Easy climb. Come on. Please, try. You can't give up. You can't give up. I need you. I need you. You don't need me. Not anymore. Look what you did. All by yourself. <laughs> My little goofball. It's Alvin Jr. You'll always be goofball to me. Hey, look at me. AJ, please. You're such a cutie. How did I get so lucky? Gotcha. Please. Don't, don't be silly right now. Not right now. Please. Hey, there's always time to be silly. Not this time. Always means always. I need to make sure you remember. Remember what? The rules. What's number one? Never, never go alone. So, so I can't leave. Not without you. AJ. It's your rule. You won't be alone. Not for long. Get back to the school. I don't know how. Sure you do. One of the first things I ever taught you. You need to make sure they can't smell you, so... Fresh, juicy walker just waiting to be gutted. <clears throat> Grab that axe. You know what to do with it. Next rule. What do we do when the monsters come? Clem. AJ. Shoot them in the head. Got any more ammo? There isn't any more. <sighs> okay then. Fuck. And the last rule. I want to stay with you. I know what'll happen. And I don't care. I don't want to go. I just want to sit next to you and... and stay. Like that monster couple from the train station. Even if someone kills us later, we'll just sit for a really long time. Please. Let me stay. Oh, sorry, kid. But no. I have a job for you. I need you to get back to your room. I need you to sleep in your bed and have friends and grow tall. Taller than I ever was, I hope. 
I need you to live, AJ. For me. That's your job now. Okay, Clem. That's my job. Last rule. No! What do we do if I get bit? <laughs> Are you gonna make me say it? Kill me. Don't let me become one of them. Be a good boy. Kill me. No. I'm coming. for a boy. He's about three years old. His name's Alvin Jr. Kids are. All right, all right. That way. There's a nursery. But I'm not letting one of you savages take a kid!
sorry. <laughs> so sorry. D don't worry. We're leaving soon. I've just got to... No! 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 Oh, but... Okay, now, where to? Can't go back to Richmond. This whole area is a war zone. Gotta... Go? Yeah, we have to go, AJ. This place, we can't stay here. It's not safe. But it's okay, we're survivors. And the first rule of survival is... Never go alone. Never go alone. Clem? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, Jay? Don't worry, okay? We're gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be okay. 
I know where we'll go. We'll go find ourselves a new home, together. And I'll never leave you again. Gotcha. You like me now? <laughs> yeah, you like me. And I like you too. Boom, boom. <laughs> uh, I give up. All right, girl. I'm gonna go put the spear away. Stay here and keep watch. Looks like a bad place to sleep. No! No, no! Yes! Good girl! Always aim for the head. Sorry, Tin. I know. Me too. Let's go home. 
Let's go home. What you doing there, goofball? Whoa, <laughs> easy there. You're out of bed. You're walking. And, and you have wood arm legs. Crutches. Crutches. I found your hat. It was in the creek down by the shack. I thought I wouldn't get it, but Rosie jumped right in and got it out of the water. It's all wet now. It's definitely seen better days. You know what? You keep it if you want it. I'll put it in our room. I have a surprise for you, too. Come with me. I want to show you something. So, what do you think? 
It's... it's for me? Yep. Willie helped me put it together. Come on, let me push you. <laughs> I'm flying! You sure are. Higher! I'm trying. Food's ready, everyone. Come and get it. You're the best, Clem. It's gonna get cold! Come on, let's go eat. We're coming! AJ. What? It's good. Seconds, please. Already? You even taste that? Idiot. Yeah, that's the spot. A sim says he saw ten, fifteen of them, a little bit past the old safe zone. I want you to go. You're the boss. We need to know who they are. Maybe even see if they're willing to trade. Just keep your distance until you can make a call. Who who are? A group of survivors out beyond the old safe zone. Some kind of caravan. Are they bad people? How about you back me up and we'll find that out together. Word on the street is you're a good running buddy. Best. Sending Violet smart. She knows what she's doing. That gotcha, kid. That's why I want you to come with. It'd make me feel a lot better if you went. Don't sleep in. <sighs> you okay? Just... Just getting tired. Hey, walk with me a sec.
Katja. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I stare at it too. If it was just you and me alone out there, and I was like this, I don't know if I'd make it two weeks. I'm gonna need these to go anywhere. And if we ever had to run... It wouldn't be pretty. It's okay. I'll make you a new foot. Oh, yeah? There must be a foot-making book somewhere. I'll ask Willie. Okay. Find me the foot book. <laughs> All this. It's worth it. All those times you would ask me if we'd find a home. All I could ever tell you was, we'll see. And your face would fall every single time. It's better than saying yes and lying to me. And that's what I told myself. But you want to know something I didn't tell you? I never had a plan. I never knew where we were going. I never knew anything. I just fought and fought and fought and hoped you didn't notice. Hoped we'd find something before you did. Did I do a good job? Of course you did. What are you, are you crazy? <laughs> Maybe a little. A lot more than a little. When we were in the barn, you didn't listen to me. And if you had, I'd be dead. I was right to trust you, back in the cave. To make the hard calls, even when I couldn't. You'll have to be strong for the both of us. You made it so I can. So, thank you. For everything. You're welcome for everything. Okay, okay, in you go. coming.
stay tuned for more epic gaming adventures. Until then, game on and keep unlocking those achievements.